Hey, it's Pupmeister, and today I'm going to be talking all about armor trims. Now, why am I standing in front of my massive map here? Well, if you take a look, <laughs> and I don't know if you've seen my map before, but I have uh, expanded dramatically, as you can see here. And the reason I'm standing, as I was saying, in front of this map is because in order to get armor trims, you are going to have to explore because all of the different armor trims are found in different places. And I'll be covering that. And in fact, I have a really nice graph that gives you all the information you need about armor trims, where to find them, uh, different colors you can use, what blocks you need to duplicate them, all that kind of stuff in one nice graph. So I'm going to be sharing that with you. I don't think I've seen that anywhere. Um, I think that will be very helpful and you can take a screenshot of it and have it handy anytime you're doing this kind of stuff. So um, the reason I explored so much is because I was having trouble <laughs> finding um, some of the armor trims and I still don't I just do everything in survival like you know and I still haven't found all the armor trims and some of them are such a small percentage that even if you do find the right place multiple times you still might not get it I came across some really unique stuff while I was exploring and I thought I would share some of that with you. So at the end of this video, in case you only want to see the armor trim, um, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you some really unique stuff that I came across. Uh, it's only like a few minutes, so it, it's not going to take long, but they were some pretty cool things I came across. If you want to see that, hang in till the end. Okay, so let's get to it. Here is the graph, and I'm going to go through all the different things that you need to know right now. Okay, so here is the graph I have put together for you. It has all the information you could ever need. Um, it's got what kind of trim. It's got where to find them, the chance of finding them, what stone you need to duplicate it. Any special things, like whether you get two if you find them, and the different colors that you can add to your trims and what item you need to make those colors. Um, and generally speaking, Java and Bedrock are pretty much the same information. Okay, so let's get started. We have the eye trim, and you find that in the stronghold. Now, there's two chances here. So why is that? Well, most strongholds come with a library, and in that library, there are two chests. Well, there is a 100% chance to find the trim in either of those chests. So you're pretty much going to get two if you check both, both of them. And what is this 10% about? Well, there is are other chests in the stronghold as well that are not in the library. And in those chests, you have a 10% chance of finding the eye trim. And in order to duplicate it, you need end stone. Now, um, I may have mentioned before, I can't quite remember, but there are 17 trims. Now I'm including the netherite upgrade. All right, so the next one is the rib trim. And that is found in the Nether Fortress. There's a 6.7% chance of finding the rib trim in the Nether Fortress in chests. Now, you want a Nether Fortress that has lots of chests, obviously. If you find a Nether Fortress that has a lot of bridges over lava um, with very few chests, well, you're probably going to be out of luck. So make sure you find one with lots of chests and you need netherrack. Now, the, the stones to duplicate are generally fairly easy, and they're associated to where you find them. The next one is the sentry trim, and that's in the pillager outpost. You have a 25% chance of finding it. Now, unfortunately, there's only one chest in the pillager outpost, 
So you have a 25% chance. Now, hey, if you check four outposts, in theory, that's a 100% chance of finding one. But you know what? Math doesn't always work that way. So you can, you know, if you're not lucky, you may not find it even in four. And what this these chances come down to is really luck. It's all about luck. So if you're really lucky, you'll be able to find this stuff. Now, um, for the for the sentry trim, you need cobblestone in order to duplicate it. Now the next two, whoops, the next two are the silence trim and the ward trim. They're both found in the ancient city. The silence trim is probably the toughest trim in the entire game to get. It's 1.25%. Not to mention you're in the ancient city, which is a dangerous spot to begin with, but only 1.25% chance of finding it in a chest there. Like, that is so crazy. You need to be lucky. You really do need to be lucky to find that one. I was lucky enough to find the ward, and that is only 5% chance, which is also not the best, um, but at least I found one of them so far. And you need cobble deep slate in order to duplicate either of them. The snout, well, that kind of almost tells you right there. It's in a bastion remnant with all the piglins, and there's an 8.3% chance to find it in the chests, and you need blackstone in order to duplicate it. The spire is in the end city, and it's 6.7% chance of finding it, and you need a purple block in order to duplicate. The tide is in the ocean monument. Now this one works a little different. As you know, there's no chests in the ocean monument. So you get them when you kill an elder guardian. Now there's only a 20% chance of dropping it. And again, it's all about luck. Man, let me tell you, I have killed, man, close to 10, I think. And I still have not gotten the tide trim. Well, probably 12, considering there's three <laughs> in each ocean monument. But uh, it can be frustrating, but just keep going. If you really want one, uh, if you really want the tide, you just got to keep going. And just the same with all the others. And you need prismarine in order to duplicate it. The wild trim is in the jungle temple. You have two chests in there and a 33.3% chance of finding it. And you need mossy cobblestone in order to duplicate it. The coast trim is in the shipwrecks and you get a 16.7% chance of finding it in the chests there. You just need cobblestone in order to duplicate it. But the good news for the coast is if you do find one, you get two. And that's the same with the dune trim, which is in the desert temple. There's a 14.3% chance of finding the dune trim in the chests. Uh, but when you do open a chest and you do find one, you will get two just like before. And you need sandstone in order to duplicate it. The Vax trim is from the Woodland Mansion, and you get a 50% chance of finding it. So that's pretty decent. The only thing with the Woodland Mansion, of course, is that it's so rare. You know, it's probably going to be thousands of blocks away. Um, but when you do find one, at least the chance of getting your Vax is a decent one. Now, unfortunately, there's also not a ton of chests in the Woodland Mansion. But 50% chance is pretty darn good. Unless, of course, your luck is down the toilet that day. <laughs> and you need cobblestone in order to duplicate it. Now, the next four are all found in the trail ruins. Now, remember before I said there were three different ways of finding trims. Number one is chests. Number two is killing elder guardians. And number three is using archaeology and brushing away suspicious gravel or sand. Actually, more suspicious gravel, I'd say. And these ones here are all using the brush and brushing away suspicious sand, or I keep saying sand, suspicious gravel. Uh, the wayfinder trim, 
The host trim, the razor trim, and the shaper trim are all found in the trail ruins. You have an 8.3% chance of finding each one of them, and you need terracotta in order to duplicate any of those. And last but not least, we have the netherite upgrade that can also be found in Bastion Remnants. There's a 10% chance of finding this. Now, if you find this, you definitely want to duplicate it and duplicate a heck of a lot of it. Because whenever you use one of these trims, you lose it. It disappears. So always make sure you have more than one when you are doing it. And you need netherrack in order to duplicate the netherite upgrade. In order to duplicate, you're going to need seven diamonds, the trim, and one of the stones. And of course, I'm going to show you how to do that too. And on the very right here, we have all the different colors and what you need in order to, du uh, not duplicate it, but in order to get it. So you need nether quartz for white, nether ingot for black, iron ingot for gray, copper ingot for a copper color, gold ingot for gold, emerald for green, amethyst shard for purple, redstone dust for red, lapis for blue, and diamond for turquoise, which of course is kind of like a diamond color. Okay, so these are the armor trims that I have found so far. A number of the other ones, man, I've just had bad luck. I've just had bad luck. So, how do we go ahead and put something on armor? Well, you're going to need one of the armor trims. So let's do a dune just because we have a bunch. Um, as you can see, I already have a trim, the coast trim on my chest plate. So let's put this one on my leggings. So you're going to need a smithing table in order to do this. And you basically want to put in your trim and then your armor and then whatever color you want. I like the red because it stands out a little more and it will also give you a picture of what it looks like. Put her on and see what it looks like. Okay, well that's not too bad. I might change this up, of course. And that is the next question. How do I change my armor trim if I don't like it? And there's two ways. The first is if, what if I want to change it to something else? And the second is, what if I just want to get rid of it? I don't want to trim. So let's cover the first one first. Okay, so if you want to change the type of armor trim you have, you just need to put the new one in, your old armor trim, and whatever color you want, and it will just switch it to the new one, just like that. So now we'll have it on, and you can see it has changed it to this new one. Now what if you want to get rid of it? Like, what if I don't want a trim on my leggings anymore? Well, unfortunately, this is going to cost you. <laughs> because if you don't want any on your armor, you have to use the anvil. You put your netherite, or whatever it is, sorry, wrong way. You put a regular legging in, and then you put your armor trim in. And as you can see, even though this is not enchanted, you do not lose your enchantments. However, um, you'll lose your extra set of netherite leggings. So if you have netherite armor, this is really gonna cost you to take it off. Um, Diamonds, well, they're a lot easier. So maybe you might not worry about losing, you know, a diamond legging. But especially if you have netherite, it's going to cost you big time. But this is how you take it off. And it is going to cost you too. Look at this. 39 in my case. Okay. So it's going to cost you some levels and it's going to cost you a legging 
of the normal variety of what you're trying to take off. Okay, but that is how you take them off. And I'm not going to take it off because I don't want to lose my extra netherite leggings. But what I am going to do is probably change the type of trim again because I'm not too happy with uh, this coast trim on the leggings. Okay, so let's take a quick look at how to duplicate one. So I'm going to duplicate the snout armor trim here because I only have one of them. And if you look back at the chart, it is the black stone that we need to duplicate it. And you need to go to your crafting table. And you want to put your diamonds all the way around like that your trim at the top and whatever block you need inside and then it will duplicate it in other words this well now instead of having one it will give you two so when you take it you'll have two just like that and that is how you duplicate them the only other thing i want to mention is how to upgrade your diamond into netherite now i unfortunately i do not have the netherite upgrade trim but you would put that trim right in here and then you would put your diamond leggings and then you would put a netherite ingot and now because that's not an upgrade it'll just put <laughs> the snout trim on these diamond leggings but you would put the netherite upgrade in here and then it would turn your diamond leggings into netherite so now let's take a very quick look like i said it's just a few minutes of some of the really cool unique things i came across while i was exploring i'm just in the middle of mapping some of this new um, territory because it's the best way to find things really um, just found a snow village a pillager outpost and an igloo um, as you can see but as I was going over this mountain that I had to climb here, look what I found. A trail ruin. Way up here on the side of a mountain. Check that out. Check this out over here. This has got to be the smallest cherry, cherry blossom biome ever it's like literally two trees and they're so close they're even connected check that out because they usually grow in opposite axis directions it makes me want to see if there's more up here no that literally is the smallest cherry blossom biome and as I continued to draw my map, look at this. Some We've got a Plains Village and it's like super close to the Cherry Blossom biome. The rest is like way down there. Although there is some over here as well. So there are a number of villages that are pretty close to the Cherry Blossom biome. And if you look at my map, there's actually a Plains Village on both sides of this cherry blossom biome. And it's actually a really big uh, biome, as you can see, like it's massive. So here is another unique thing I came across while mapping. This igloo that's kind of out in the water. And it's, if you look, if I can get in here, can I get in here? It's a full igloo, including the secret room in the basement. But check this out. It's like got a pillar straight into the secret room at the bottom. I've never seen anything like that before, but kind of neat. I was just pulled over to this ancient portal ruin here and I was continuing to do some mapping and I noticed, look at this, a trail ruin 
completely in the water. Wouldn't this be a joy to take apart? <laughs> yep. But I've never seen one actually right in the water before, so I just thought I'd share this one too. Just thought I would share this other cool landmark I just came across. A whole bunch of trees and stuff. That would probably be a really cool place to build a base. And that is pretty much all the basics you need to know about armor trims. So hopefully you've learned what you needed to know here. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Ouch. Ooh.